The Nasdaq's now up 56, and the Dow up 210. Wouldn't it have been nice to have a crystal ball for the markets in the economy? Well, we've got the closest thing, right? For 2018, the 10 predictions for this new year from Wall Street legend Bob Dahl, chief equity strategist, senior portfolio manager at Nuveen Asset Management. Let's get to them. Let's go. Your number one, two, three, four, as many as we can get in here. Sure. Um, we think nominal GDP is going to be five this year. Five percent? Nominal and real three. A real three. Had, okay, so that we stays. Had, Liz, we haven't had that in over a decade. We've had slow growth and very low inflation. We think we just get a little more. Tax bill is part of the reason, part of the tailwind. Explain what, to people quickly the difference between nominal and three is real units. Five includes pricing, so call it okay. inflation. Units plus inflation five. Five's like the revenue line of a company. Okay, because we have anemic inflation right now. We do. Right there. And we think it not gonna go high, just moves from very low to low. Okay. If we get three percent real, two percent inflation, that gives us five. Next one. Uh, the next one has to do with um, where we think interest rates are going to go. We think interest rates will mo move up to 3% on the 10-year, which is a lot higher than a lot of people are thinking. Stronger growth, absence of all that liquidity from central banks as they begin to wind down their balance sheets. Um, <clears throat> we think that that 3%, still not a problem. If we have 3% 10-year treasury, still a very low number. I would, I would think so, but yes. th there goes the bond bubble, right? Yes. We think, the, we think the bull market and bond lasted 35 years. It ended in July of 2016 when we saw 137 on the 10-year treasury. We're up 100 basis points roughly since then, Liz. Third and, prediction. Give it to me. Uh, we think that despite protectionism, threats, noise, some action, that we will have a very healthy global economy. There are fewer countries in the world in recession than ever before in history, which is pretty amazing, despite the fact that global trade is kind of anemic. This penchant to do things in my own country, not just here in the U.S., but around the world, has meant global, in, uh, 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 glo global trade uh, has been kind of anemic. What do you think will be the best performing sector? It was tech last year, and tech looks good in these first couple of days uh, in 2018. I, 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 so we have three sectors we like. Tech is one of them. That comes out number one would not surprise me. Healthcare is also on our list. And we put a defensive group in this year, telecom services. Which has not done well, no, right? It has not done well. It's sort of a pair trade on our underperform list is utilities. We think long telecom, short utilities, uh, the yield differential is so big. Would you buy the S&P? Like Buffett says, just buy the index and you'll do well. I, I look, I think absolutely the index is going to be fine, but if the index isn't up 20 this year, and we don't think it will be, more like single digits, all of a sudden being in the right stocks and not in the wrong stocks is going to make a difference. If you're in today, folks, you're winning. We have records for the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. That'll do it for us. Have a great weekend. Here's After the Bell.